Welcome back to your second video of our Signal R. In this video, we'll be discussing a little bit more about how Signal R makes real time applications. Now, let's go over a theoretical example. Let's say there's a social network. What are some of the primary things you can do on a social network? Let's talk about it. Well, I've thought of three of them. You can update your feed, you know, see what new people have to say about their lives. You can update your status or your your own feed so then everyone else can know what's going on in your life. Or you can send direct messages or something similar. These are kind of the three primary things. Now, when we're talking social networks, they are almost always real time or very close to real time. They simulate real time. What I mean by that is when you update your status, everyone's gonna know immediately because this is 2016. We ain't got time to click refresh and check our stuff. We want the social network to tell us. Now that's where real-time apps come in. SignalR makes it possible to make these real-time apps and it uses four different technologies and we'll be discussing all of these in depth in the upcoming videos but I'm just gonna write them out so you can kinda get an overview. These are the four technologies SignalR uses to make real-time apps and I'm, we're gonna talk about them more in future videos so I'm not gonna explain each one but I am going to break them up into two different groups. We have these three and then we have this, this loner by himself. And the way these are broken up are the first three are actually real-time applications. This long polling, it just simulates real-time application. So, real-time, kind of real-time. <laughs> and these all have their benefits, but in general, the top is the best, the bottom is the worst. The way SignalR works is it's going to try WebSockets, and if it doesn't work, it's going to go to Event Source. If that doesn't work, it's going to go to Forever Frame. If that doesn't work, finally, it's going to go to Long Pooling. That is the order, and you can specify a specific one if you want, such as, hey, I want just this one. You can do that, but usually you just want it to pick whatever one you want. So we'll be discussing about all of these in the upcoming videos. So thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one.